Master, may I come in? Uh, thank you, Master. Oh, please forgive me. I know you asked to not be disturbed, but you haven't eaten. I hoped you would at least take some tea. Uh, okay, here. I took the liberty of adding some lemon and honey to help soothe your throat. I know your voice has been strained recently. Uh, forgive me again, Master. I know it's improper, but please hold still. Uh, you have a fever, just as I suspected. No, I'm afraid I can't obey. My job is to keep you healthy, Master. And since you seem intent on running yourself into the ground, I have no choice but to intervene. Now, will you move away from the desk on your own, or do you require my assistance? You may glower all you wish, Master. But I shall remain steadfast in my duty. Now, take my hand. I shall escort you to your chamber and fetch a doctor. You do need a doctor, Master. Where did you conveniently forget the fever that you have? Well, even if you feel fine, illness isn't something we should trifle with. I would hate for you to become bedridden, and even more miserable. The work will still be there tomorrow, Master. I'm afraid I will not listen to you anymore. No more excuses. Master? Uh, sit down on the bed. You looked... lost for a second. Are you well? Light-headed? Not eating will do that to you, Master. I will have the chef prepare some soup. Yes, soup is what you need. It's gentle on your stomach, and it will give you some much-needed fluids. And, if you eat it all, perhaps I will allow you to have a scoop of chocolate ice cream. <sighs> yes, chef just made a new batch. And I'm sure you won't notice if one scoop goes astray. But only if you allow the doctor to examine you. And you're a good patient. <laughs> no, Master. You actually tend to be a horrible one. If I'm not mistaken, the last doctor that was called for nearly ran away in tears after trying to administer medicine to you. Uh, well, I don't know whatever you said to the poor woman, but such behavior shall not go unpunished today. Well, you must be feverish if you're asking such foolish questions. Of course I care for you, Master. You're my precious Master. I've served you for the past year, and I will continue to do so until you dismiss me. Perhaps I am so bold because we've been through so much together, Master. Now, would you kindly lay down while I call for the doctor? Ah, uh, no. It matters not if you're tired. Rest is what you require. I'm afraid I will have to be quite insistent on this. I know. I know you want to do well, but you already are. You've proven to all of society how noble of a house this is. You needn't work yourself to death to continue to prove it. Your parents wouldn't have wished that on you. In fact, if they could see you right now, I'm sure they would join me in on this lecture. <laughs> yes. Yes, I can picture that. Ugh, it's okay, Master. 
You can cry. You know you don't need to hide your feelings. Not from me. It doesn't matter if it's been six months or six years. Grief follows no set timeline. And anyone who says otherwise is frankly, master, a liar. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know you do. I miss seeing them as well. I still prepare his lordship's coffee in the morning, sometimes before I remember. Master, may I speak frankly? <sighs> okay. You do not have to take this burden on yourself. Just because you are the sole heir and representative of this house doesn't mean that you need to dedicate your whole entire life to maintaining its dignity. After all, Life is much more than paperwork, master. It may be uh, impotent of me to suggest it, but I know Lady Anna is holding a ball soon. She sent you three invites, master. I know she and all of your friends want to see you again. I'm sorry, but... Perhaps you've spent enough time mourning. It's time for you to live now, master. That's what they would want. And it's what I want as well. I want to see you smiling again. And I know I speak for the rest of the staff when I tell you how desperate we are for some cheer in this house. So, what do you say? Oh, you'll accept? How wonderful. I'll send her a reply post-haste. Let me... Master? No, it's just that, um, you're still holding my hand. If that is what you wish, then I'm in no position to refuse. Okay. I'll stay here until you fall asleep, and then I'll fetch the doctor. Oh, shh. Master, I'm here. Don't worry. I'll keep the nightmares at bay. I promise. Oh, no. No, no, no. You don't need to thank me. This is my duty, Master. And one I take very seriously. Sleep well, Master.